Hello, in this lecture we're going to talk about the Master Budget Part 3. So we're going to go into the Cash Budget. If you haven't looked at the 1 and 2 parts, you may want to go back and take a look at those first before we go through to the Cash Budget. At the end of this, we will be able to... First, a word from our sponsor! Well, actually these are just items that we picked from the YouTube Shopping Affiliate Program, but that's actually good for you! Because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and use ourselves. Bayer Dynamic? Not sure if I said that right, but this is the DT770 Pro 250 OHM Studio Reference Closed Back Headphones. I wear headphones basically every day for a large part of the day. They are important to me, therefore I've gone through many different kinds of headphones. I've had these for some time and they've worked quite well. They fit over my ears, but I'm still able to put my glasses on under the headphones. The headphones not pinching too tight on the glasses to give me a headache, which is nice. The quality of the padding is good and it has lasted for some time. I've had these for some time now and they haven't gotten all torn up on me or anything like that. I also like that I have a cord when I'm doing my recordings as opposed to a USB centered headphone because that frees up a USB port and I find the USB headphones to be less reliable. They come with an audio jack that looks like this, which is useful for me because that plugs into my audio interface. However, if you want to use the headphones for some other purpose, I believe it's fairly easy to get a converter to other types of audio jacks. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials. List, com list components of the master budget and compile the cash budget. All right, so real quick, we're gonna go through the components of the master budget. They need to be done in this order. We've taken a look at most of these up until we get to the cash area. So we have to do the sales budget first. Once we have the sales budget, we know what we're gonna produce. Then we do the production budget. Then we can do the direct materials budget, the direct labor budget, and the overhead budget as well as the capital expenditure could be done at this time and the selling and administrative. And then we can take a look at the cash budget. So this is where we're at at this point. We're taking a look at the cash budget. We're gonna be bouncing back to some of these budgets we've done prior in order to compile the cash budget. Then we can take a look at the balance sheet budget, the income state budget, and the statement of cash flows after that point. And that's what we'll do next time.